AI is changing our world in many, many different ways. We as content creators know about that. And in this episode, I'm going to show you a real leap forward that we have to help us in the creation we're doing. You know, you can use AI for research. It's great for that. You can also use it for writing. Boy, we use that a lot. It's important. Make sure, however, you UIize it, that you make it you, not just copy and paste. And then you can also use it to create graphs to create charts and pictures. It's really good, but there's a little problem there that a lot of people know about. One thing that you have challenges with is letters and words. Sometimes it's just infuriating. What it will do, you're just putting the wrong letters on there and everything. How do you get rid of that? Well, now there's something that has happened that is huge. Matter of fact, what that something is, it is a huge AI visual creation enhancement from our friends over at Canva. Yep, that's it. Canva, those folks that are so good, they just keep doing so many things right over there. What they've got done now is they've got a way that you can fix those misspelled text words in AI-generated images by using Canva. There's a little trick. Yep, they just let it out. And we're going to let you see what you can do and how you can make that work in some major profound ways. They're going to help you. Hi, I'm Terry Brock, and I'm going to be talking with you today about how to do this and showing you how to do it. Let me show you the what first. Then, Hang on there with me through this video because we're going to show you specifically step by step how to do it, how to make this thing happen. And what we want to do right now is take a big leap forward. We're going to be looking at what's going on with this because right now the creation of word graphics is good, but sometimes it's just infuriating when it gives you the wrong stuff on there. I mean, the wrong information and the letters are off, the words are bad. There's a way to get around that now, and that's the good thing. Right now, you've got a Canva that we've been able to use before because you kind of had to shoehorn fix it before you could use it. You had to just put that in there um, a long time ago. We would get, put a graphic in there, then when the words were all goofed up, We'd bring in something there with Canva and put it in there with that. It's a lot of extra work. Much easier right now, as you're going to see. That new tool is called Grab Text in Canva. Yeah, we want to write that down. Grab Text. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and make it happen. And the results are nothing short of amazing when we look at it. Now, let's take a look at the old way of doing things. How we did this before and what it is. Let me uh, show you a little graphic here. I want to get this arranged just right. Let's say you want to put one together here. I saw this uh, out over on uh, Ideogram. Great little site for creating and using graphs that already exist with words there. Many times they're correct. Sometimes they're still not right. And this is one as an example. Like, for instance, around the holidays, have a, you can put in, I saw this one, it said, have ha happy holiday season. Notice there's two I's in holiday, and they're missing the uh. Have a happy holiday season. And so the old way, what we had to do is, well, we had to go through quite a bit of that. So we would use it in ideogram.ai, which is a great place to go, by the way. I highly recommend their tool. They've done a great job with it and give you a lot of capabilities. Even their free version is good and their paid version even better on what they're doing. You can get the initial output with the error, something like this. And then what we would do is you get frustrated because, oh, what are we going to do now? You'd have to go into Canva and like here we would have to figure out a way to create happy, have a happy. So have a or have and then put a down there with a happy and change the line, then work on holiday. A lot of work. A lot of work to go into that. And that is where it got to be real, real frustrating. And we don't want frustration. A new way. Look at this. I did this with that little trick I'm going to show you in Canva. Have a happy holiday season with just a few clicks of the mouse. It was done. This is amazing. You bring that original flawed slide into Canva now, and then what you do is you enable grab text. That's the tool you want. So you'll look at that, and then you make your adjustments and go on from there because it's pretty amazing. And then, oh, by the way, listen to those bells of joy in your heart where you're going, yes, this thing works because it's really nice. This is the way that we're seeing it work, and it's going to give you a streamlined way of getting work done, get a lot more done. Your graphics are going to look so much better, and you get the benefit of all that Canva has along with the benefit of being able to use other tools that help you and give you the kind of adjustment that you need to make it work. So this is the real key, how it's going to happen. One of the things we like to do here at Stark Raving Entrepreneurs with me and with Gina Carr, my partner in this, we help you focus. You want to focus. Keep learning. What you did before is changing 
fast. You've got to keep changing and adapting. That means you've got to focus on those things that are most important to you and getting your job done getting things done and achieving your goals with this. Now, here's what I did. Let me show you right here what was going on. I had a word graphic I created and I had uh, some words like failure is not a final step. Always keep learning, always keep trying, put those words in there and notice what happened to the words. They came out like this after I took it through uh, the uh, the tool. In this case, I was using from OpenAI Doll E3. I love their product. It's a great product. It does so much good, but sometimes it stumbles on the text just like this. And that initial try was there. It was okay. I did this prompt there in Doll E to create the word graph. And then I just look at it and went, ugh, oh, this is not good. I mean, that's unusable. I can't use that except to show, hey, here's something that doesn't work. And it didn't work real well, so we got to move around that and say what to do. But now, look at this second step right here. This is what it looks like. we got this right here. It says, failure is not the final step. Constantly keep learning, keep trying, learning, and improving. So we got that in there. This is the way that it came out in the second step. So what did I do? Well, you made it look good. You can make it look good by doing the right things in there using that grab text. You can add more and you can adjust it again. I'm going to show you how to do that at the end of this video. So stay there with me. I'll show you step by step. And we can still improve it some because what I could do is underneath my name, I could put in a quote. I could put in a QR code. I could put in a website all kinds of good things that are available with this so that we can get more information and give more to the viewers. And then here's a third step. I use Canva again to make it a little bit better and make the graphic a little bit larger. So you see we got the graphic there. It looks better. It gives you the ability to use it. And that, my friends, is something that looks really good. I like it. It's got some real potential there. It's something that we want to use in many different places. You can take this graphic put it into many of the social media platforms you have, using it on YouTube as well, use it in your blogs all over the place. This is going to open up a world of possibilities for you. So we content creators, we can rejoice when we see this. It is nothing short of fabulous when we look at the possibilities. So now look at the last two. Here was the second one over on the left. You'll see over on the left, right over here, this left, uh, the failure to, uh, is not a final step. You see everything there. It's good, but it was a little bit small. So I went back into Canva over here on the right. Here we are. We're getting it over on the right. No, no, it's the left. Okay, yeah, those of you that are catching this on video wonder, what is he doing now? Okay, so I'm going to point this way. There we are. <laughs> That's pointing it that way and having, having some fun with it. But this way, you get it a little bit larger. I just took the graph, made it larger on the screen using Canva. Again, Canva really gives us those tools to use in a profound way. And I love the way that they put that together and made it happen for us to do a lot better. So what you want to do is use the new grab text feature for word graphics created in other platforms like Dall E or Mid Journey or Ideogram. Ideogram, I should say, that's the way you pronounce it. I looked it up. Ideogram and many others. There's a lot. And so now let's go over into Canva and let me show you step by step how to do what you need to do. You know, as we get started on this, I got to tell you, Canva is such an ideal tool. I am not a graphics person, okay? Not good at all with that. But Canva gives me, a guy like me, the ability to create some graphs that look pretty good. Because basically what I'm doing is getting the wonderful templates that they have. And then with a few changes and working with it just a little bit, I come up with something that's uh, pretty decent. People have told me, hey, Tara, that looks good. Well, it's not me. I'm leaning on the intelligence that's baked in there to Canva. And what they've done is they made it even better. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to kind of intimate here. What I'm going to do is I'm coming into our Canva. This is the one that Gina and I use. And we're right there. And you'll notice the way the graphic came in there. I've got this graphic here. I'll open this up and make it a little bit larger so you can see it there. Failure is not a final step. Always keep trying, learning, and improving. And that's all it did right there. And that's not acceptable. I couldn't use that. wouldn't want to use that in a professional setting. But what we can do is where I can go through some steps. And let me show you the exact steps that I'm using as I do it. What I'm going to do is right here, I'm going to come up and the first thing we want to do is we're going to move this down a little bit here like so and I'm going to zero in on edit. Notice there's an option right here next to BG, the background remover of edit. So I'm going to come in here on that and click on edit. And when I do, it brings up the images over here. These images that we can see over here on this side that we can look at, we can see, okay, there's a background remover, there's a magic erase, etc. And what I'm going to do is a magic 
uh, uh, grab that I can put in here. I'm going to click over here on, on this. Let me go over here on this one right here. There we go. And you'll see it has grab text. Grab text is the option. Move this out a little bit so you can see it. And that is the tool that does the magic for this. It's really, really handy. When I click on that, it's going to give us some capabilities to get a lot done. Like there, right now, you see what it's doing is it's zooming in there on it and put a little uh, glow around it. There's a kind of like a purple glow around the graphic here that we have. And I'm going to click on that to say, yeah, that's what I want. So I'll come back over here and I'll tap in there. And then you'll see the grab light comes on over here. That grab light gives us, uh, lights up and it says, okay, that's what we want. We want to use the grab reach over there and grab that, grab the grab, there we are. And when I do that, it's going to reach over here and grab it. And then it just changed this and transformed it, which is pretty amazing. Let me zoom in on this right here so you can see what it is. There's a purple line around it, kind of a rectangle that was drawn around there, which gives me the ability then to come in here and I'm going to click on this right here. This has con converted this from being a graphic, a P PNG file into something that is editable. Whoa, look at this. I'm taking these out one at a time, getting ready, rid of those. Now to find, and I can put in here always. I want the word always in there. Yeah, I'll leave that in there. So I'm going to just type it in again. I'm typing on the keyboard and it goes right in there very nicely. So I can do this, put it in here. I'm going to move it over to the center, moving it around like that put it in there and make sure that it's there. And what I'm going to do here is also put in something. I'm going to reach over here to the text, grab text and bring a heading in here like so. Look at that. I can put in here what I want to do. I'll put my name in there, Terry Brock. And it's right now a little bit large. So I'm going to scoot it down, make it a little bit smaller, something like that. Pick and pick it up here move it over there and it's right now dark uh, black for this particular graphic. I want to change it on this particular graphic here to make it white. So I'm going to click down there and look at what we've done <coughs> right there. Excuse me for coughing there. But you see failure is not a final step. Always keep trying, learning and improving Terry Brock. I have now saved that and this is what you can do if you have a graphic text that is a PNG file. This is where things have changed dramatically. Right now we've got this and it gives you the ability to open up a world of possibilities. You look at the graphic, you see, okay, I've got a, a graph here, a PNG or a JPEG file. You need to edit that text. Well, you know you can't do that unless you're using the magic grab text from Canva. Let us know what you think about that. This is something that a lot of people do. Matter of fact, if you're using it, please leave a comment below so you can say, okay, I'm using it. It's giving me some really nice capabilities and helping us in some profound ways. We'd love to hear from you on that. And if you'd like to see some improvements or some changes, love to hear from you on that as well, because there's all kinds of ways we can keep improving. So these are the ways that we can really make it work. Remembering this the way it is in Canva, it's got some nice capabilities, but we're continuing to get better all the time. And I love the fact that we're seeing those kind of things happen. And if you want to find out even more about that, hey, don't click away. This is where you can get some real serious help. Bounce over to starkravingentrepreneurs.com. That's where we covered topics like this and particularly how you as an entrepreneur can build your business. We're helping hundreds of people right now doing these types of things. We have do, been doing that throughout the years and helping in many, many areas. We want to help you on that. And uh, my partner, Gina Carr, and I are working with others to do that to make sure that you get the practical help in a no dumb questions environment. Whatever you ask is not a dumb question. We're here to help you, to help you out. And I want to even give you something right now. Our AI tools for biz.com. All this is in lowercase. AI tools, the number four, biz.com. AI tools for biz.com. We've got a lot of resources built in there, not only about Canva, but Dolly 3. ChatGPT. By the way, Dolly 3 and ChatGPT are from the same company, OpenAI. That's when you'll see them down there on that. Also, we talk about Lexica Art and Udly, as well as Stable Diffusion, other tools like that that are AI tools to help you get the resources that you need, get more done in less time and get a lot done. And hey, we got a little QR code here for you as well. If you're listening to this on audio, bounce over to AI Tools the number four, B-I-Z, AI tools for biz.com. And that'll give you what you need. 
Hey, thank you so much for joining me. I'm Terry Brock. Really appreciate you stopping by. As a matter of fact, we put together a couple extra videos that are going to be related to this that you'll be able to use. So take a look at those and let us know what you think. Thanks for joining me today, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you.